In a different video, we talked about your engine overheating. Could be because the rubber raw water impeller is destroyed, not pumping enough water. Or it could be because your heat exchanger, think of a heat exchanger as a water-cooled radiator. And this is a large one that came off of a Cummins Diamond Series diesel engine. And you can see where the raw water will go in here. It'll go down, make a U-turn, and come back, and it will exit here and go to downstream coolers like this cooler that could be a transmission cooler, this cooler that could be an oil cooler or a fuel cooler, another cooler here, another cooler here. So we might have three, four, five, six coolers on board your engine. Looking inside here, you can see the tubes. So that's like the tubes inside of a radiator in your car, except this is a water-cooled radiator, also known as a heat exchanger, or tube-in-shell heat exchanger. And that's how you keep the engine cool. Cool is about 180 degrees on average, and we'll teach you how to do maintenance on these heat exchangers and keep them clean and in proper working order. Part of the proper working order is all of these tubes inside here are welded, brazed, silver soldered, and they also have a pencil zinc. You can see that silver colored pencil zinc right there. That's called a zinc rod, and you actually have to inspect these on your boat every couple of months. Check the zinc rod, make sure it's healthy and it's okay. If it's not, go ahead and replace it, so that way that the welding on those copper tubes, and I'm using the word copper, they're cooper nickel alloy, not copper. So you want to make sure that those do not fail and leak salt water into your antifreeze, your oil, your fuel, or your transmission. Hope to meet you down here in Florida in February 2025 for our Introduction to Boat Systems class. If you have any questions, ask Captain Chris.